All right, level two supercharger. Much cheaper. Picking up where we left off. Two miles, three miles down the road. 56%-ish. And an autofocus that just won't quit. And two-ish miles. Now we're still hitting that same 98-ish, 97-ish. But we're doing it at like half the price of the V3. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. But hey... If you're in a hurry and you want to be economical, just charge 40-50% on the V3 and then move to a cheaper charger. We're getting the same amount of juice, half the price. This was a fun experiment though. Ended up wasting like 10 bucks or so, but hey, at least I got to see that 1,000 miles an hour. a difference. It blipped 93 but then recovered to 91 as soon as I killed the AC. I really don't think it matters. I mean, realistically, an air conditioning window unit is pulling like 1800 watts, like a microwave. So AC unit in the car, which is basically just running a pump and some fans. I couldn't expect to be pulling the same juice as that, 2,000 watts. We're, we're dealing with this much power. Can't imagine it would make much of a difference. Hmm. Food for boredom thought. So we're saying 20% for 20 minutes. Oh no, I have it set to 90, don't I? Yeah, 30% for 20 minutes. I need to get a little tripod. There goes the fans.
That's an awfully long 20 minutes. <laughs> We are now at like generation one supercharging speeds. Sixty five KW. You know, I didn't even notice our little time thing estimator went down to fifteen. It's like three thirty AM. I'm getting off of overtime, so forgive me. Seventy-five percent. We've added an additional fifty-six miles. For three dollars and forty-seven cents.
So we got the Generation 2 charging almost. Lowest it'll go, 24 cents. Very blurry, 24 cents. Up to 38 peak hours. And then the V3 was 38 no matter what. With a dollar loiter fee. So the difference between 38 and 24. I swear when I was here a week ago it was 21. Hmm. Could be just tripping. But we're at 55, 55 to 80. Costs like a whole four dollars, four and a quarter. You can definitely feel the price difference. And if you're above 40, 50 percent, you're not going to be charging any faster than a Gen 2 anyway. So you might as well. Back when this car was new, just one year ago, it was rated for 320 miles maximum on the battery at 100% state of charge. Now, if, after that battery is broken in, it's like mm, 305 if I really crank it to 100%. I find that uh, if I charge it to 94%, the regen braking doesn't uh, start to go whack, but if I charge it to 95, it disables the uh, regen. Well, if I only charge exclusively at uh, this charger, because of the ridiculous prices I'm paying for my electricity at home, it's actually cheaper. <laughs> it's like 50 or 60 bucks a month cheaper because of my 100 mile a day commute to supercharge at a V2 supercharger exclusively. It'd take like, uh, I think it was like 500 kilowatt hours off of my PG&E bill, which will probably even lower me into a cheaper electrical tier. <laughs> I pay ridiculous money. It's like, jeez, uh, what was it? 35 cents a kilowatt hour, I think, at the high end. So, I mean, I'm paying pfft, almost V3 supercharger rates at home just to charge it in the garage. So, pfft, 
Might as well just charge here. If I can knock myself into a lower PG&E bill, or uh, rate, at home, that means I save more money than just the difference in the price for charging it here versus there. Because the rest of my pg &E for the house will go down. Which would be pretty cool too. Be an experiment for another month when I can actually put numbers on paper. Looks like I'm going to get home at about 4. Ugh. Home at 4 a.m., back off to work by noon. What a life. Plus 86 miles. It's like, what, 30%? 55, 65, 65, 75, 75, 85, yeah. 30% for 524. 525. So this whole experiment has cost me 35 minutes from 2% to 86%, with a total of about 20 bucks. Definitely, definitely cheaper just to charge at the slightly slower one. If you're uh, close to dead, maybe the first 20, 30, 40, 50% if you're in a hurry. But it's double the price almost. That's pretty rough. I mean, technically, plus 100 miles range rated should be 30%, because it's 300 miles. And uh, that'd be 33%. Yeah. But I mean, who the heck ever needs to charge 0 to 100 or 0 to 90? That first 50%, definitely more than enough to get you on your way down the freeway if you're on a road trip or something. What I should really take out of this is V2 Supercharger, 100 miles rated range, mm, $5.75, 6 bucks.
assuming that you actually drive and then the uh, range estimator is accurate 100 miles for six bucks what's that equivalent to in gallons down here it's almost five bucks a gallon right now it's pretty crazy actually I mean, if that's, you know, you want the super premium stuff. The cheap stuff, I think, is like still 430 It's pretty bad. Oop, 89%. So just that last 10% from 90 to 100 would take another 20 minutes just all to itself. That's pretty crazy. That last 10% is pretty brutal. Cost us 25 minutes to get 100 miles. There we go. 598. <laughs> 599. Six bucks. 90%. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I need to go home and go to sleep. Six dollars. Okay, come on, even out. Two seventy. Two seventy. You can do it. You can do it. Two seventy. Six dollars five cents. Boom. But what will I actually get hit in the banking department? It says. My last one says purchase debit card Tesla supercharger sixteen dollars seventy two cents. I guess that's for both of them. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right.